What's up YouTube, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to restore your jailbroken 6.1.3 device back to 6.1.3 stock and that's because once the untethered jailbreak for iOS 6.1.3 comes out you're going to have to be restored on a unjailbroken device in order to upgrade to the untethered jailbreak. Now before you start this process make sure you back up your device using iTunes. So there's going to be three separate things that you want. One is going to be iFaith, the program, and I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to download. Just click on it and you'll be able to download it. As well as the iOS 6.1.3 IPSW, and you can I'll put a link in the description below for that as well, so you can click on that. And you'll also want the SHSH blobs saved locally. Now you can do this with iFaith and save them on your PC and I did a video on that already. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys don't have your SHSH blob saved. So you can click on that, check that out, and then come back to this video. All right, so basically what you want to do is open up iFaith and let's go to a main let's go to the main menu so we'll start over completely. And we're going to click on OK. And there's going to be four options here. What you want to do is build a signed IPSW with your SHSH blobs. Now, if you haven't saved your SHSH blobs yet, then you want to click on this and go through that. Again, there's going to be a link in the description below if you need a tutorial on how to do that. Now, once you've done that, go ahead and click on Build Signed IPSW with Blobs. Now, you're going to browse for SHSH blobs, and you should get a little pop-up right here. So we're going to click on Desktop because that's where I have mine saved. I'm going to scroll all the way down here and there are my blobs right there for 6.1.3 so we're gonna click open alright and you should get a pop-up but it brought up on my other screen so I'll drag it over here and it says the provided AP ticket looks valid so just click OK and then you're going to either browse for an IPSW and if you haven't downloaded it then you'll just have them download it for you so I've already downloaded my 6.1.3 so we're just gonna click browse and it's going to be on my desktop again and this is it right here so you can see 6.1.3 we're gonna click open and then it's going to verify the IPSW and then once it's done verifying you're just gonna click build IPSW alright so this process actually takes a little while so I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this for you All right, so now it's finished, and I got a pop-up here. Let me drag it over. It says, iFaith has finished creating your custom signed IPSW, and it's located on your desktop under the alias right here. So just look for this, and before you can restore your IPSW, please follow the on-screen instructions to enter pwned DFU state. So just click OK, and now it's telling us to turn off our device, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So just hold the power button up there at the top until you get the slide to power off, and we'll slide to power off. All right, now it's completely turned off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click start and it's gonna tell you to prepare to press and hold the power plus the home button in one now. So you can follow the on-screen instructions here and you're just gonna count down last five seconds and then prepare to take your finger off the power button right now and then continue holding the home button until it automatically kicks into DFU mode. And once it does, it should automatically continue to the next step. All right, so now it's running iReb. And let me show you this pop-up here. It says your device is now in a Pwned DFU state. You may now launch iTunes and shift restore to the custom signed IPSW located on your desktop. So just click OK. All right, now we're going to launch iTunes. All right, so you should get a pop-up right here that says iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. So just click OK, and then I'll drag iTunes over here. See if I can make it a little bit smaller. All right, so what you want to do is hold Shift and click Restore iPhone. Alright, so then it's going to give you a pop-up here. 
and then you want to find the IPSW that it made. So it should say signed IPSW here. So we're just gonna click on that, click open, and it should start to update the IPSW. All right, so it says your iPhone has been restored to factory settings and it is restarting. So leave your iPhone connected and it will appear in iTunes window. So let's just go ahead and focus on the iPhone now. All right guys, so there you go. It's on 6.1.3. So just to show you guys, there it is, 6.1.3 down there at the bottom. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, this is Cody with iPhonehacks.com.